welcome back to Real Real Reviews. This is Cody Williams, and we're here to talk about the movie, Ready or Not. This movie story follows a newlywed bride, played by Samara Weaving, who you may or may not know, but she is Hugo Weaving's niece. That's pretty awesome. So as she marries into a rich and eccentric family, she is forced into an act of initiation to be accepted into the family to simply play a game. The family allows games of all sorts, but she draws a card with a game written on it, and of course, she draws the hide and seek card. She has to hide in the mansion while her in-laws hunt her down and kill her. Yes, you heard that right. This movie is a sick and twisted game of hide and seek, and somehow this movie pulled it off perfectly. She has to survive until the next morning inside the mansion for the initiation to finish. Does this plot sound familiar? Well, maybe it should. Because it's almost like House on Haunted Hill, but with a twist and on steroids, of course. God, this was a crazy movie. I found this movie to redefine the horror genre. Sort of like what Cabin in the Woods did a few years ago. It was in the majority a post-pounding thriller, but there are some horror aspects with a very graphic and grotesque score, and there are some dark comedic moments, surprisingly, that worked really well. However, I was literally on edge the whole movie. It was just really anxiety-inducing. The production design in this movie was truly phenomenal. The mansion looked beautiful, creepy, with a bleak lighting, and it really set the movie's foreboding atmosphere and tone. So to have a movie like this that is contained in one location, they did a great job to keep the audience on their toes. There are some good realistic moments in the movie that actually prevent her from leaving the house. So it was nice to have a sense of realism in a movie like this for a change. Unfortunately, the horror genre is shunned at movie awards and ceremonies, but Samara Weaving's acting in this movie was nothing but impeccable. She's definitely an astounding actress. This and three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri are the only movies I have seen her in. She definitely deserves a lot of recognition for her talent in this movie, so two thumbs up for me, because I just really floored from her performance. This movie does miss out on the character development aspect, which really what this movie needed, but for a 90 minute horror film, you can only fit so much in it. The side characters, such as the crazy and murderous in-laws, really make this movie sensationally desirable. While viewing this movie, you are in a way rooting for them to be killed off by the movie's protagonist, as she is just simply fighting for her own life. So this film was just pure bloody fun and a stroke of genius in a way. This movie is definitely not one of your average run-of-the-mill horror flicks. This is a film that every fan of the horror genre really needs to see. To be honest, it was kind of funny to see the in-laws use archaic weapons such as axes, crossbows, bow and arrows, and pretty much any weapon from the 19th century you can think about as they hunt her down. Yeah, there are some cheesy moments, but heck, it's really an enjoyable film to see. I give this movie a B plus. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my real reviews.